Well, deeply meaningful and wickedly fun. Nobody said wickedly fun yet. This is actually great fun. So now I get to introduce Van Jones. And many of you may know him from CNN's Crossfire, but what you probably don't know is he was one of our earliest grantees. He was the co-founder and executive director of the Ella Baker Center for Human Rights. So when Van talks, he really talks from deep experience, from boots on the ground, of making things happen in the trenches. Since Ella Baker, he went on to become a prominent social entrepreneur. He started Green for All, and then was a special advisor to the Obama White House on green jobs, and wrote multiple bestsellers. Recently, he's also founded Rebuild the Dream, which is about rebuilding the middle class in America, and Yes, We Code, which has 100,000 kids in low-income neighborhoods coding. And he continues with a much bigger platform on CNN to advocate for equal rights for all. So we're very happy to have him to mark this phenomenal occasion of our 15th anniversary and to challenge all of our current and future grantees that Van's model is what's possible for you. Thank you, Van. Real change is actually happening right here in California. I have Terrible news for you, awful news for you, unfair news for you, given how many problems you already have. But if there is going to be hope for change in America now, where is that hope for change going to come from? Don't look to Washington, D.C. I'm on CNN every day arguing with Newt Gingrich about everything imaginable. Trust me. I'm not convincing him. <laughs> if there's any hope for any change in this country, look to your left, look to your right, look at the people in front of you and behind you. Sucks to be you. <laughs> but that's the truth. And I know there's always that voice in your head. Now, look, I know some of you, don't know all of you, that says, I don't want to have to do this. I have my own problems. I am trying to have, what do you got, an IPO? <laughs> see? <laughs> I did my research, you see. You've got problems in your company, you've got problems with your foundation, you've got problems in your marriage, you have these people called teenagers. <laughs> and you can't make any of that work, and I'm here telling you that you now have to fix the rest of the country. <laughs> and I'm not joking. It's not fair, but it's the truth. You have become a new power center in a country where the old power centers are now broken. It's just the truth. You are the one place now, I'm not trying, look, I'm gonna beat up on you in a minute, but let me brag on you first. <laughs> You're the one place in this country where there's actually momentum. Go to DC, go to Detroit, go to Chicago, go to the rest of the country, and then come back here. The problems don't stop you here. The solutions come pouring out, and you figured out a way to scale genius, scale imagination, the two things that we need as a country to get out of this mess, genius and imagination at scale. That's in your job description. It's in your mission statement. Now, the challenge is, how do we take advantage of the fact that some of you are crazy enough to care. I don't know why you do, but I sure am glad you do. Now the question is, what do you do when you care as much 
as you do. First of all, I would say that there are two values that I am praying you adopt as a community. Laura's all about them. We already got the book written about it. But I'm going to put it in my own words. First of all, we got to stop wasting genius. As brilliant and bright and amazing as you are, the great thing about this organization is you know you've got to have partners that are not a part of your world. That's the amazing thing, is that you recognize your own genius, your own gifts, and you reach out for partners. That relationship says, guess what? We're geniuses. There's genius out here, too. There's genius in these housing projects. There's genius in these juvenile halls. There's genius on these Native American reservations. There's genius out there in Appalachia. There's genius all over the country. We figured out a way to get ours together. Now let's work with you. That's a value set. That's precious. Everybody doesn't share it. There are people who believe that all the smart people all happen to live in the same zip code. You may have met one or two at work. That's not you. When you say you're going to not waste genius, that means you take an extra step, an extra, you impose upon yourself an extra burden to reach out, to work with people who don't look like us in this room, maybe don't have the same educational background, but still have genius. Genius. 